one-stop channel for teacher trainings. In today's video lecture, I shall be demonstrating on how to create Google Meet link through Google Calendar. As teachers, you must be technologically sound to take online classes. The schools are now insisting the teachers to teach their lessons through online mode. So, the safest method to have a virtual classroom is through Google Meet. Let's get started on how to generate a Google Meet with your class students. First, you must have a Google account in order to use this facility. So, I am opening the Google Chrome and sign in to the Google account. You have to log in to the Google account in order to use this facility. Once you log in to the Google account, you find 9 dots on the top right corner of the page. That is, when I keep the cursor here, it shows Google applications. All the Google applications are within these 9 dots. So, I click on to the 9 dots and choose calendar. Because we are going to create Google Meet link through calendar. I need to schedule a class. So, I am going to select create. Once I select create, a dialog box opens. So, in the dialog box, you have to write the title of the meet. I need to have a class for 9th standard C section English and hence I would be typing 9th C English as my title. Once the title has been added, let's move on to the date. So, I have to select the date on which I should schedule my class. So, I have selected June 8 and the time also I should schedule. So, I want the class to be at 9 a.m. So, I scroll through the timings. If you want, you can scroll through the timing and select it or you can also type it just I have done. So, I have selected the starting time and since my class is for 45 minutes, I have selected till 9.45. So, there is the start time and the end time. Once that is done, go to add Google Meet video conferencing and click it. Once you click that, automatically Meet link would be generated. I think you can see over here. There is a meet link that has been generated and this meet link can be sent to your students. For Gmail users, you can have up to 100 participants. That is, in a single classroom, you can have 100 students. But for G Suite users, you can have up to 250 students. Instead of saving, I am going to show you more options so that you will know what is there in it. I have added the title. And that is the date and the time of my scheduled class with my students. Since I want to have it for only one day from 9 a.m. to 9.45, I am going to keep it as it is. It does not repeat. So, the notification will not repeat itself. If I want to create a class for five days in a week from June 8 to June 12th, I can customize it. I needn't generate the Google Meet link every single day. The students can come through the same link every single day. So, I go there and I select repeat every one day. And I want to end this notification. So, I select on and I would select the date on which this notification has to end. So, I select from June 8 till June 12th. So, I need to have 5 days class. Once I select this, the notification will get stopped after June 12th. It will not go to the students. If I do not want this, I can also select the other option that is after. Suppose I want to send the notification for 10 classes. Then I can select here 10. 
So after 10 occurrences or after 10 classes the students will not get any notification and the meet link will not be there after the 10th class. So this is the purpose of this custom recurrence. Hope you have understood this. If you want to create a Google meet link for the same class at the same time for every particular day then you can use this custom method. If not you can change it. I do not want to do this so I am not clicking done. I am going to select cancel. So I want to have class only for one day. Now I want to select the color of my schedule in the calendar and I am selecting tomato red. If you want you can select different colors because you can as teachers you will be going on to different standards and different sections and different subjects. In order to know the differentiation you can select colors from this drop box. Once this is done I am going to add guest. Once I click on that I get certain email IDs to whom the invite has to be sent. I do not want to send the invite to these email IDs that I have here right now. So I select one of the students email IDs and type in it. I can remember one or two that is the case with even everyone. So I type students mail id and select save. Once the save is selected there is a dialog box that asks a question would you like to send invitation emails. If I do not want to send it I can click on don't send. Why? Because if I want to send it at the later stage then I can send it. But I want to send it now so I am sending it right now. And it has got saved but I forgot to send to other set of students also. So I can edit at the same time. So I click on that calendar, schedule calendar, click on the edit button and once I click on that I again go to the add guest. I have to send this Google Meet invite to 40 odd students. So I have a Google Classroom that I have already created using this ID. So I open a new tab go to the google applications dots click the google applications and select classroom it is always necessary that you should have a classroom google classroom linked to that particular mail id through which you want to send the google invite if you do not have one kindly create one Google classroom. So this is my classroom. So I have got so many classes. I am going to select one classroom for whom I want to send the invite. I have selected a class. In this classroom you can see stream, classwork, people, grades. I need to send it to the students so I will select people. In this we have teachers and students. In the students, I click on the box. Once I put a tick mark, the actions box gets enabled. I drop down the box and you have email. So I select email. Once the email is selected, compose mailbox would open. Which would be very easy for us to copy the mail IDs of all the students. As we may not be able to remember the IDs of all the students. The compost mailbox is open. I place the cursor here and select all my students mail IDs by using the key control A. You can see the difference in the color. So I copy it after selecting the mail IDs. After you copy you should go back to Google Calendar. And paste it there. So I select Google Calendar. Go to Add Guest. And paste the mail IDs of all my students. By using Control V. So all my students mail IDs have been pasted in the guest list. Now I save it. Once I save it. Again 
it would ask the same question would you like to send invitation emails if i do not want to send it i click don't send if i want to send it i can click send so that the students can attend my classroom but now i do not want to send this to my students and hence i click don't send so the google meet link has been saved in my calendar this is the schedule for my class 9c english on monday the 8th at 9 am once the mail is sent to your students the students will respond back saying they want to attend it through yes or if they do not want to attend the meeting they would click no and if they have a dilemma in attending the meeting or not then they would click maybe you will get an acceptance mail or a rejection mail once you are done with the meet invite log out of your google account i hope you have understood how to create google meet link through google calendar this is not the only way to create google meet link there are other ways also in the upcoming videos i will show you how to create google meet link through other ways i shall meet you with yet another topic until then take care